The Adventures of Lily Molly Mandy by Joyce Lancaster Brisley. Chapter 4 Milly Molly Mandy Goes Blackberrying. Once upon a time, Milly Molly Mandy found some big, ripe blackberries on her way home from school. There were six great beauties and one little hard one. So Milly Molly Mandy put the little hard one in her mouth and carried the others home on a leaf. She gave one to father, and father said, Ah, that makes me think the time for blackberry puddings has come. Then she gave one to Mother and asked what it made her think of. And Mother said, a whole row of pops of blackberry jam that I ought to have in my store board. Then she gave one to Grandpa and Grandpa said it made him think blackberry tart. And Grandma said blackberry jelly. And Uncle said stewed blackberry and apple. And Auntie said a plate of fresh blackberries with sugar and cream. My, thought Millie Molly Mandy, as she threw away the empty leaf. I must get a big, big basket and go blackberrying the very next Saturday so that there can be lots of puddings and jam tarts and jelly and stewed blackberry and apple and fresh blackberries for father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie and me. I'll ask Susan to come too. So the very next Saturday, Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan set out with big baskets to hold the blackberries and hooked sticks to pull the brambles nearer and stout boots to keep the prickles off and old frocks lest the thorns should catch. And they walked and they walked till they came to a place where they knew there was always lots of blackberries at the proper time of year, of course. But when they came to the place, oh dear, they saw a notice board stuck up just inside a gap in the fence. And the notice board said as plain as anything, trespassers will be prosecuted. Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan knew that that meant you mustn't come here because the owner doesn't want you and it's their land. Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan looked at each other very solemnly indeed. Then Millie Molly Mandy said, I don't suppose anyone would see if we went in. And little friend Susan said, I don't suppose they'd miss any of the blackberries. But Millie Molly Mandy said, but it wouldn't be right. And little friend Susan shook her head very firmly. So they took up their baskets and sticks and moved away, trying not to feel hurt about it although they had come a long way to that place. They didn't know quite what to do with themselves after that, for there seemed to be no blackberries anywhere, and so they amused themselves by walking in a dry ditch close by the fence, shuffling along in the leaves with their stout little boots that were to have kept the prickles off. And suddenly, what do you think they saw? A little brown ball of fur just ahead of them among the grasses in the ditch. Is it a rabbit? whispered little friend Susan. They crept closer. It is a rabbit, whispered Milly Molly Mandy. Why doesn't it run away, said little friend Susan, and she stroked it. The little ball of fur wriggled. Then, then Milly Molly Mandy stroked it and it wriggled again. Then Milly Molly Mandy exclaimed, I believe it's got its head stuck in a hole in the bank. And they looked and that was just what had happened. Some earth had fallen down as Bunny was burrowing and it couldn't get its head out again. So Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan carefully dug with their fingers and loosened the earth round about. And as soon as the bunny's head was free, he shook his ears and stared at them. Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan sat very still and only smiled and nodded gently to show him he needn't be afraid because they loved him. And then little bunny turned his head and ran skitter-scutter along the ditch and up the bank into the woods and was gone. Oh, said Millie Molly Mandy, we always wanted a rabbit and now we've got one, Susan. Only we'd rather ours played in the fields with his brothers and sisters instead of stopping in a pokey hutch, said little friend Susan. And if we'd gone trespassing, we should never have come here and found him, said Millie Molly Mandy, and I'd much rather have a little rabbit than a whole lot of blackberries. 
And when they got back to the nice white cottage with a thatched roof where Millie Molly Mandy lived, father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie all said they would much rather have a little rabbit running about in the woods than all the finest blackberries in the world. However, the next Saturday, Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan came upon a splendid place for blackberrying without any notice board. And Millie Molly Mandy gathered such a big basketful that there was enough to make blackberry puddings and jam tarts and jelly and stewed blackberry and apple and fresh blackberries for father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie and Millie Molly Mandy too. And all the time a little rabbit skipped about in the woods and thought, what a lovely world it was. And that's a true story. <laughs>